alive, and this man is Alon Vaughn, accused of moving into a vacant home. Police say he claims he is a member of an obscure sect of Islam, the Moorish faith, and that the home was on sacred land, so government rules don't apply to him. But Moorish leaders say not so fast. News Channel Free's Marie Cornell explains. Seen here posing for his mugshot is Micaiah Unk Unuel. The Hampton man police say illegally moved into this hay wagon trail home that's been on the market for months. Um, a real servant came by to show the property. Her keys didn't work inside um, in the door. She looked in the window and saw that there was property inside the home. The home had been furnished. Weeks later, a neighbor spotted Micaiah on the property. Micaiah volunteered to talk to police, telling investigators he did nothing wrong. He told police no rules were broken because he says his religious group, the Moorish Science Temple of America, has rights to the land. Last month, Sheikh Dr. P. Vernon Pearl Bay backed up the story. He told the Daily Press, speaking for the Moorish Science Temple of America, that the, quote, religious group has owned the property since 1928 under the conditions of a trust, end quote. But after talking to the real estate developer, Hampton police learned otherwise. Police arrested Micaiah and charged him with one count of unlawful entry. But the story doesn't end there. News Channel 3 contacted the head office for the Moore Science Temple of America to find out more about Micaiah's story. A spokesperson for the head office, Jones Bay, told News Channel 3 they don't know anything about the Hampton property, nor do they have any record of Micaiah leaving Micaiah's story a mystery that has now developed into a criminal matter in court. In Hampton, Marie Cornell, News Channel 3. Hello? Man, why? are you? I'm in jail. Oh, um, yeah, well, look. And they took me down, too, man, but you know I'm innocent. Something happened to me, man, before you get here. You told everybody I went down fight. Because that's how I am. You know what I'm saying? Okay, whatever you do, man, remember, don't tell Gina. Love you. What? What's the deal? I lied. Oh, no, I got no, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh. Man. <laughs> well, look, we'll be out of here soon, but don't worry. Don't worry. You got me up in here with these little knuckleheads. You talking about don't worry, man. Uh, come on, man. All that crap about crazy people in jail. It's just a movies. It ain't real. Excuse me, my brother. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Brother Shabar. Shabar. You see, the man arrested me for this petty crime to get the brother man off the street. Then they put me in here with psychos like that to mess with my mind. Now, is it me or is it a conspiracy, my brother? Uh, it's just you. Excuse me, bro. Uh, before you go, let me show you something. What do you see, bro? See a page, man. A white page. That means nothing until you add these black words. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, my brother. Well, peace and a bottle of hair grease to you, too. <laughs> hey, hey, Martin, man, don't leave me in here. Hold on. Ah, Rick. It's gonna be all right. I'm gonna take care of you, okay? You want more? Big man! Yes, my brother. All right, all right. Look here, this is a partner of mine, all right? Let's so make sure you take care of Oh, don't worry. I like Ricky. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make it like one big honeymoon in here. Hey, 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 hey. Before you go on the honeymoon, what are you supposed to get? Uh, uh, a tic-tac. There you go.